from John 8, 12, Jesus says, I am the light of the world. Well, here we are in sunny and warm Arizona. We're here for, um, for our niece's wedding. And a couple of days ago, about three or four days ago, we left northern Minnesota and it was minus 15 degrees. And we are really glad to be here in the, in the light and the warmth of Arizona. Luke 24, 32. They said to one another, were our hearts not burning within us when he was speaking to us on the road while he was explaining the scriptures to us? You know, it, it was interesting. Uh, a couple of days ago, the house we were staying at, it was a little bit chilly in the morning, maybe 60 degrees or 55 degrees. And we went outside and immediately we went from the shadows into the light so we could warm up. And I think we've all had that experience where we have gone out of the shadows into the light and felt the warmth of the sun. Or maybe you're outside and the cloud passes away and it gets, uh, gets warm where we are when the sun hits us. You know, this idea of light and warmth, there's an analogy with Jesus. Because Jesus says that he is the light of the world. And if you read uh, the New Testament, uh, all through that it talks about Jesus being the light. And I can tell you from experience, when I'm in the light of Jesus, it's a warm place to be. I mean, for instance, uh, when I'm with other believers, maybe in worship, or maybe in prayer, or however we are, but when you're with other believers, there's just a warmth there. Or when you meet somebody that's a believer that you haven't met before, you become instant friends, and there's a warmth there. Or when you stray away and you come back into the warmth of Jesus, you say you're sorry and you come back, there's a great warmth there. Well, the thought of this week is there is warmth in the light of Jesus. What I want you to do uh, if you have some time, you could go to the New Testament and just uh, search for light and see all the different ways that Jesus is the light. And what I want you to do is I want you to think about the time that you've been in the warmth of Jesus' light. And think about what it felt like. Think about when that was. And just think about the warmth of Jesus' light. Well, with all that said, thank you so much for watching. Had a great rest of your day. God bless you. Aloha, see you there, and for goodness sake, live in the warmth of the light of Jesus.